good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's actually not the morning, the afternoon. And uh, Riggs, chill. What's up, big guy? What's up? Oh, we gotta go say hi to Bonnie. Come on, Bonnie. I'm coming. You stay right there. Chill, chill, chill. What's up, dude? Hey, you be nice. You be nice to Bonnie. You be nice to Bonnie. Oh my gosh, you guys are just nuts today. What's up, big guy? Oh, I, I hear you there. Today, me and Bonsai, we just got down to the farm. It is 3.01 p.m. Didn't duck hunt this morning, slept in, had to sleep, and I was absolutely just going nuts. I, I was very sleep deprived. And, uh, well, we're getting started. Austin's starting up the heater. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't seen this, this is the new trailer. I still am waiting to pick a name for this bad boy, but we are going to sleep here tonight. Bonsai and I, we're going to have to go to Walmart tonight and get some supplies for this, but... Basically at the heater, we brought a ton of stuff in my truck, like crossbows and guns and traps and all sorts of crazy things that we're gonna be doing in the next couple days. But we are sleeping in the camper for the very first time today. So later in this video, once it gets dark, we gotta run to Walmart just in town and uh, and get some supplies. But we're gonna basically unload the truck. Look at the new crossbow, baby. This is the Cam X A4 crossbow. Brand spanking new. And if you guys want one, I will actually link it down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Super sick crossbow, sighted at 100 yards, and literally feels like you're shooting a pellet gun. The reason why I have a crossbow, if you guys didn't know, I have a shoulder issue. I don't even know what it's called. I'll put the name here. Basically, I was born with it, and I can't shoot a bow like a deer hunting bow. Like, it's just I'm missing something in my arm, and I can't, and so I have a crossbow. That's why I have it. Um, not that crossbows are, aren't cool and you need an excuse, I'm just saying like, that's why I don't use a normal bow if I go hunting. It's just because I physically cannot do it. I can do a bow fishing bow because of the poundage is less, but for a deer, you have to have a, a high poundage bow, and I can't do that. Anyways, we got to unload this. We got all sorts of goods. We got heaters. We got chargers. We got grills. We have traps, more traps, decoys. waders, decoys, sleeping bags, boots, guns, explosives. Um, a lot of fun stuff. Anyways, we're gonna unload everything, put it in this. And we also actually set traps out yesterday. So we gotta go check on those and we have a couple more to add to it. So if there's nothing there, we're gonna add maybe some different kinds of food, kind of mix it up, but we're gonna go check the traps later. Anyways, just stay tuned, enjoy a random farm vlog. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got. <laughs> All right, we gotta pick up this generator. This generator is gonna power the uh, power the old camper tonight. We don't, we haven't gotten to the, we haven't put the camper where the camper plug-in is yet. So we gotta run it off the generator today. So pick this sucker up. Oh, cheese and rice, this thing's heavy. Quit saying cheese and rice, Flair, that's so annoying. Ugh, cheese and rice, Hercules, relax, I can help you. <laughs> I'm trying to show off for the ladies, I see. It says RV ready. Oh, that looks about right. Here's the moment of truth. Microwave. It works. Ooh, yeah. We got power. Heck yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. We got power, baby. Oh, we're we're not gonna freeze to death tonight. That's good. Got the old generator kicking. But actually, what we're gonna do is Jake, nice fellow that lives right down yonder. He's actually gonna take us out trapping. He's like a trapping expert. See us, not expert. Him, expert. So. He's gonna take us out, we'll probably jump in his truck. He's gonna take us around and we're gonna set beaver traps. You guys have seen all the footage of the beavers. Try to trap some beavers, maybe some coyotes, maybe some raccoons, a bunch of different stuff. And then uh, we still have to check the traps that we set in the last video. And who knows, we might see a, might see a coyote. You wanna shoot a coyote? I'd smoke one. I'd shoot a coyote. You guys stay tuned. Right there. Yeah. Well, folks, who made it out here, if you guys remember in the last video, this was the trail cam that we had set up, and this is the, the beaver slip and slide, Wisconsin Dells for the beavers. You can see all these old trails lead to here. If you didn't see the video, I'll roll a quick clip. Yeah, so big beavers right here chilling, and uh, we're out here with Jake, and Jake's gonna show us how to trap. I've never really trapped beavers in my entire life. I have no idea what to do. So he's gonna kind of show us Show us the ropes a little bit. Maybe show you guys something. Maybe teach you guys something. And I'll show you, actually, awesome. We'll, let's walk down to the dam and show them the dam. In case you guys haven't been tuning into the videos, I'll show you guys why we are killing these beavers. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching, like, why do you kill the beavers? They're so cute. What do they harm? A lot. I can tell you right now. They, 
Beavers are cute, are they not cute? <laughs> but I'll show you guys the dam just in a little bit and show you why we are doing exactly what we're doing because um, they're a big problem. This is the beaver dam. It's supposed to be like this, just a little creek. And I actually blew this up with uh, boom boom. I'll roll that clip. So yeah, didn't really work. Oh, that seems pretty solid. I'm relying on the beaver's architectural skills to keep me safe. If you were to guess, how many beavers do you think like, or maybe how long, like, this side is of a structure, what do you think, what do you think we're dealing with? How many? You probably got two families in here. Yeah, Easy. two families. I mean. Most of the time you catch the, you catch the uh, big ones first and then it's all little ones after that. Gotcha. They dammed it there and then it goes around and then they put another dam here. Oh my gosh. We're dealing with some paw prints, coyotes. And they walk right here, go across. We got another dam here. So, dam and then this is like a pool and another dam. Oh, no way. So I was just walking and I, <laughs> I made a huge hole. It apparently, you think this is an entrance? Oh. Here we go, folks. We might have, I might have just accidentally figured something out. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's anything, is it? It's more than likely they, just the air. Just made a little pocket? Yeah, they gotta have, you know, this is where the air will come up and through. Gotcha. Ventilation, I guess. You know, when it freezes up. And... <laughs> Beavers are smarter than Dude, they're way smarter than me. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> if I had to build a hut in, in the wilderness, it wouldn't look anything like this. Look at that. Probably a young buck. Lunkers TV. Come kill this sucker. The old guy that taught me, he always told me to do, like, a, make that beaver's head swim through it first. And okay. And when he hits his... When he hits his shoulder, that's when the... That's when you want it to go off, yeah. huh? Okay. Then when you get it down, set in, then... Pop your safeties off, huh? Flip safeties off. That's right. And it's fire. that. And if you touch the little skinny trigger, right, then it just, the whole thing snaps. Yep. Don't want to do that. You ever got, you ever got snapped? Yep. Oh, God. That sounds brutal. So we just set this trap down. Gotcha, and okay. that's all that's going to hold it. Yep. And then we'll set this chain and then we'll put a stake in the ground so... Yeah, I can't swim off with it. Right. So how we're going to pinch him down here. So even if the, the springs are up like that, it's all it's fine. Yep, it'll fire. And always when you make sure your hands are flat. Because if it's going to hit you, you know, don't have your hands wrapped around yeah. it. Yeah, you pinch your fingers right off. I mean, that trap ain't going nowhere. Yep. A beaver or anything that you're trapping, if it comes up to a set, like a foothold, and they can feel just a slight shy away from him. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Just enough to block him because when his head's up here, we want him to go down and when he comes down into that channel, he's going to get hit. And you just stick him down. So they can't go running off and then you're good, huh? Yep. Only thing I'm really looking forward to, like right here, you can feel, it's just like your bottom, of, like right here. Yeah. You'll feel, feel where it's hard and that's just, you know, same thing, their belly coming, rubbing up and going into their den. So like right here, so here's your side. Yep. Here's your side. This is tunnel straight back. And then we'll set sticks on each side. So we're still only giving them you one may, way out. Yeah, got it. Two hours later. Well folks, we are out back on the Warthog. We gotta go check the traps. We just learned how to beaver trap. Hopefully you guys learned something. And we gotta go check those traps though that we sent out in the last video. We gotta see if there's anything in there. Um, I don't know, there might be. If not, we might need to go change up the bait. We might need to get some better bait for them, like some sardines or tuna or something else. I don't know, but we're gonna go, we'll go We'll go find out and we'll see if there's anything in them. Is there still food? Dude, there's no food. Does Wait. it snow more? Oh, did it snow? That's a box. Dude, there's no food. Nothing. Dude, there's no, oh, there's a couple. See, we didn't put enough food. We sprinkled some stuff and it's all gone. Son of a gun. Really? You're telling me 
they did not like my cinnamon rolls I put in there. So what you guys just missed in the last mm, two, three hours is we got lights. One, two, three, four. We got lights and there's food. We went grocery shopping, we got food, we got all sorts of gadgets and gizmos and breakfast and heaters. Look at this. Got the waiters hanging, got the jackets all hanging up. Everything's pretty much cooking and ready to go. And back here, we even got a little gun locker. Storage locker for the boots. And then here's the bed setup. I think I've matched you guys, but we got mattress pad, these little foam things, sleeping bags, and fleece blankets and stuff. Got the heaters kicking back here so it keeps it nice and nice and warm. But we're good to go. We just need to um well this is what we got. Alright, show the folks at home what we got. What are they? What are these? Uh, herring fillets. Okay. Tuna. We got tuna, herring fillets. We got a few different things. We got some more herrings. This is pink salmon. Oh, I got this. We one. got Sausage. Vienna sausage. That's just for you to eat, right? Yeah. Okay. Clam juice. Good old fashioned clam juice. So the idea behind all this is we're going to try one product on one trap at a time. We're gonna have four live traps out there. We're gonna keep the um, the pot traps the same with just dog food, but four traps we're gonna do sardines on one, pink salmon on another, uh, the fillets on the other, and what else are we doing? Vienna sausage yeah. on the other. So we got four, and then the clam juice is just to do a little bit of drizzling around the, the deal. So we're gonna go do that real quick. And uh, oh, before we forget, so we got a challenge with the clam the clam juice. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go check the traps. We're gonna spin the roulette wheel. Whoever it lands on has to take a nice little swig of the clam juice. Um, thought that'd be nice to mix in there for you guys, but anyways, we're gonna jump on the warthog. It's like 10 30 at night No, is oh it? gosh, no way that cannot be edible. There's no way that's <laughs> that smells edible. bad. There's no way that's edible. What is that for? <laughs> that can't be edible. We're gonna go jump on the warthog put this stuff out There's coyotes out there, too So we'll see when else we'll shoot them, but you guys stay tuned. We're gonna basically get all the traps out like you guys have seen we'll Check them in the morning We got one trap here. <clears throat> we're gonna set another trap. Put a couple different types of food in here. All right, first trap. We're gonna go with some uh, herring fillets. I'm sure these are gonna be absolutely oh, that's what that looks like. succulent. Oh my gosh! Get it out! Oh, botch! Give that a little taste. Oh, for criminy's sake! There we go. <laughs> so juicy. Okay, we're gonna we'll give them a freebie. Put it on the ground. Then I'm gonna stick the whole can on the inside. gonna have to do. What's up little dude? Hey I didn't mean to catch you. I'll let you go. Look how cute he is. Do you think Macy would let you take him home? I could probably take him home as a pet. Although we do plan on doing a rabbit hunting video. I don't want to keep him. I mean there's no that there's not really a lot of fun in that. We're gonna try to release buddy. Hopefully he doesn't bite my hand off. You're free little one. Run run run. Go 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 go. <laughs> He's good. How was it last night? Did you get a lot of sleep? You got decent sleep. I got huh? decent sleep, but it was a little cold. Yeah, we, yeah, it didn't really work out. We, um, well, here's the deal. We're trying to figure out our generator. Oh, we got Pidge doing it dirty. Bobby, you got filmed. Where are you at? Oh. Basically what happened was our generator, uh, would just die, um, every once in a while. So we put a buddy heater in there, you know, the kind that, um, runs off propane the kind that you probably shouldn't put in a super enclosed place like a bedroom and a camper but we did and then I was smart enough to take my well it got really hot so I threw my hoodie off and I threw it on my legs in case I needed it well you know I was rolling around in my sleep but I ended up throwing the hoodie on top of the buddy heater and to where I woke up to the smell of burning hoodie and huh so about killed us once and then basically I woke up every about 30 40 minutes to make sure we weren't burning to death so I didn't get much sleep and uh, we're gonna go we gotta go check the traps check the trail cams and I uh, I mean I guess We'll see. I think we caught something. I'm sure we did, but I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Well, trap number one. We don't have anything. Did I, did I sprinkle some fish out here? Do you remember? Uh, All the dog food is still here. Yeah, you sprinkled yeah, I took some, tuna, isn't it? I put tuna. There's no tuna. But we gotta grab the, we're gonna grab all the trail cam footage. And uh, basically, if there's footage, I'll roll it. If there's no footage, then, then I obviously won't roll it. Nothing. And the fish is even here. So 100% there was nothing. So that fish is still That's still the chunk. sardines, isn't it? No. Yeah, they didn't like the, they didn't like the sardines, huh? I don't know. We'll 
Check the footy. What the hell happened here? My question is, how did that get flipped over? Basically, it looks like what happened is the trap went off. That's done. But it's it's supposed to be like this. So, but that that did you lock that, that? Yes, that post is completely removed. Well, luckily we got Mr. Trail Cam. Why are you so excited about this? What makes you think you're gonna win the roulette? You. What do you think? It's gonna land on you. Oh, we made the bet. We're gonna spin the roulette wheel. Loser has to take a nice little sip of the uh, the old clammy juice. Oh, I don't know if you guys see that, but you're Peric, and I'm Flair. Oh, okay. Let's see, if, let's see if Peric brings you luck. Oh! Full! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ten times worse than I thought it'd be. It's all gone. All of the food is no gone. Way. How does that get up? Hang on. No way. We're gonna. We'll see right here. See what. See what happened here. All right. First SD card. Oh, we have clips, boys. That's a mouse. Yeah, it is. We got a mouse problem, boys. <laughs> That's a mouse. That might be our problem. Right there. Oh. Wait. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. Which one is this? This is the one by the fence. Okay. Wait. You're t No way. Oh, man. Wait! <gasps> How does he not get caught? He just didn't go back didn't there. He go far enough. Oh, oh my gosh. No way, dude. Wow. A freaking yote. A freaking yacht. Look at him on the ice. Coming for the water. So, dude, there's rabbits all around there. How is he not eating? Maybe he's eating them. Yeah. I mean, I guess rabbits breed like crazy, but... You think it's the cows we heard last night? That's yeah. really close to us. That's yeah. literally 100 yards down yeah. there. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Well, folks, that concludes today's episode of checking trail cams. I hope you guys enjoyed, but we have to go check the traps, the beaver traps. We got one more thing to do on today's list is go check the beaver traps. So, let's get to it. Woo, all right, well, finally made it out here to the old beaver dam lodge here. We're gonna go see if we caught anything. We're setting all them traps up. No beaver. Trap one, no beaver. Headed down to trap two. We'll see. So the thing is we kind of messed the dam up just enough to where like it'd, it'd get them fired up. And then we put, We'll have, to, we'll have to look at the trail cam footage, but we put one by their slide and put one by their den with nothing. So they've got to they've got to have another way. Mm -hmm. So we got to we got to come back tomorrow, spend some more time down here, and put some more traps out. So far we are losing. If you guys have any beaver trapping tips, let me know, or a raccoon or anything. So far we are struggling in the trapping game. We're just getting started. I've never done this before. So Jake's helping us out. We'll get it figured out. Just gotta gotta get the you know the lay of the land here. We're setting up a trail cam. You can hear the Russian water. That's from me. Now this is what the dam looks like. After I just took my foot and packed it in, this is all rushing now. So they will fix this. There's no way they will let this just be like this. So what we're doing is we're setting up the trail cam right here to see them fix it. See where they're, after they fix it, where do they go? Do they go to the den or do they go this way? And that's going to depend on where we put the traps. But there was nothing on the SD card from the uh, the trail cam by the first trap. So we moved it over here. We just need to get some more trail cams out here. Pretty much all we need. But I'm sure this video is plenty long. I apologize. Really wanted this to be my first beaver video. You win some, you lose some. I'm, I'm still learning. So trying to make you guys learn with me. Instead of me only posting videos of me having successful trapping sessions, I'm going to post them all, even if they're unsuccessful, because that's reality of trapping. It's reality of anything in life, fishing, hunting, any of that stuff. So I'm bringing you guys along the journey for you guys to learn from and watch the evolution of me trying to become a better trapper. Maybe you guys can even give me some tips, but I'm gonna end this video. If you guys like these trapping videos, let me know in the comments section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.